Uh, so this is Rupert, our oldest Loris that we have at Paynton Zoo, and he's just having his locust feed. Um, so in the wild, Loris mostly, um, their diet is made up of um, live prey, so insects and small vertebrates um, and sap and things from trees. So one of Rupert's favourite food is locusts. Um, as you can see by his face, he is enjoying himself. Um, he will also get a gum feed today, so we use something that's called gum arabic, which is kind of uh, a natural alternative to, to tree sap that we can provide for them. And we try and provide it in a natural way. So we um, drill some holes in logs and then fill the holes with the gum arabic and let it set overnight so it's nice and hard. Um, and then that gives them a bit of a challenge while they're feeding. So Rupert is one of seven Loris that we have at the zoo and he is, as I said, our oldest. Um, currently we're not breeding, um, so we're waiting for a, a few of our animals to be moved on to new homes before we can start breeding again. They're up here, Rupert. So as you can see, the way that uh, Rupert moves is fairly unusual amongst primates. Um, so Loris don't jump. They move with very kind of methodical hand over hand movements. Um, and as you can see, they don't always go slowly. This is Lewis. Hello, you can me. So we have a theme with our Loris names. Um, generally, we go for old fashioned names with them. Um, Smeagol was the exception because he came to us from another zoo, so he joined us from Bristol. Uh, but we have Edna and Rupert, and then we have Engelbert, <laughs> Judy and Lewis. So our little, little old people. So you can tell that they're nocturnal hunters because they've got those large forward-facing eyes. And when you put the camera on them, you get the, the um, torch on them, sorry, you get the characteristic kind of eye shine you like recognise in nocturnal animals. So one of the biggest threats to Loris is actually the pet trade. Um, and you can see why people would want them as a pet. Because they've got that kind of teddy bear face, haven't they, with the big eyes and the cute little muzzle. Um, but as all primates, they are very unsuitable as pets. Um, so Loris are one of the only um, mammal species, the only primate species that are actually venomous. Um, so they produce um, a secretion from the insides of their elbows and when mixed with saliva, that secretion um, turns toxic basically, so it turns venomous. Um, they will most regularly, they'll use that on each other, so it's a form of defense. Um, and mothers will also use it on um, their youngsters. So female loris will, um, generally they have twins more often than not, and obviously they're really heavy to carry around. Um, so they do what's called parking, so that will kind of park their youngsters on branches, cover them in this kind of secretion um, and saliva mix, um, and that will deter predators. Um, and then she'll come back once she's finished, finished foraging and, and pick them back up. So it's a very handy defence mechanism, um, but yeah, very unusual to find in primates. 